Hello everyone, MPG here. Welcome back to some more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. On the last episode, we opened up the third and final new area. <coughs> or the final big area. So, it is also represented by a... Would you consider that yellow or brownish? <coughs> Excuse me if my throat sounds kind of... Or my voice kind of sounds worn out or scratchy. That's the word I'm looking for. But, um... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. That should make it seem a bit better. But just... And once we actually get over here, just dive on down. So here we are. Lanayru Mine. It's not Lanayru Desert. Yeah, no, 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 it's not. It's never Lanayru Desert. Lanayru Mine. <laughs> Excuse me, but I will actually be using a walkthrough for this, because. This part of the game can get very confusing. And this part of the game is where I get stuck. Very much. And if you're wondering, why aren't you doing all the heart pieces and side quests that, are, that you're going to be able to do? I will not do those until after the third dungeon which is actually coming up quite soon so I'm going to save here and I hope once I get enough money once I get yeah once I get enough uh, rupees which 170 more which is fine with me that I'll actually be able to go buy that adventure pouch upgrade and more key monster claw monster claw monster claw monster claw she must be that way then yeah. And again, here I go in my quest for Monster Claw. Uh, oh, will it ever be found? And come on, what you want to do is just push that off. It should. Oh. I thought I was supposed to keep going, but Electric Shoe, and I'm going to equip my Wooden Shield for this instead of. Because the Iron Shield, as the salesman, I don't really even remember his name actually. Uh, but as the salesman said, as we were, um, as we were getting the wooden shield, as we were getting the iron shield, he pretty much said that if you, um, come in contact with electric enemies, then resort, <laughs> basically. What's that? One. As any normal person would. When they find the mysterious thing, hit it with a sword. And now, that was actually a little mechanic known as a time shift stone. And you can get into these minecarts. And I would like to get that. That Mooney. I want to just lead me. So leads me in here. Which, if I'm correct, is the, not the way to go. Yeah, well, I think we'll be able to get into this later. No, 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 there was a chest there. Uh, it's probably like 20 rupees. But should be another one around here, if I'm correct. Yeah, it's over there. So let me go over here. And it's somewhere. Oh, that's the way I came. Since we hit that now. More of these guys. No. Thank you. 
And if you hit it with their, if you hit these two with your sword as well, then they also electrocute you. So try to hit them when they're electrocuted. Basically the same concept as the yellow chew and um, Wind Waker. Which were quite annoying, if I might say. So, here we are. This area. Which, here's a new thing, which we'll be needing for a little side quest before we get to the fourth dungeon. And as I said before, I will be doing a whole... Like, uh, at the point of when we actually get past the third dungeon, which might be soon, but by the time we get there, I will be doing a basic collect-thon. So, might not be story progression for a few episodes, so I'm just gonna point that out now. And you could get crushed by that, I think, if you stand under it. But that's not good. And more electric chew. Well, now they're dead. And this can actually kind of confuse me. First playthrough. Just throw it in there. Did it go in? Okay. <clears throat> and I love how in this game... Oh. And this is quicksand, by the way. Try not to land in it. It's really annoying if you do. And run across. You cannot walk across it. It's basically impossible. And geez. Huh. Monster call, monster call. No. I don't know if monster calls are rare for keys, but I can never get any in this LP so far. I have not gotten any in this whole playthrough so far. So just run across. And Rupee. Okay, thanks. <clears throat> should probably go get a drink of water after this episode. Or after I'm done recording this. And more of these guys who are quite annoying. Just keep running. I think it's... No, no, no. Nope. This is going to get annoying. Ah, <sighs> this is going to get very annoying. So, what you want to do is... No, 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 wrong. No, wrong. 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 <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> and now that we actually have bombs, there is a new way of beating a certain type of enemy. Which we will be facing a bit later. Um, what is this? Deku sees that I don't need. Okay. Okay, I think. These are actually called Electro Spume, and they're very annoying. Okay, what is over here? Slash these bushes for hearts. Hearts on fire. Okay. Um. I think this is the way I'm supposed to go. Yeah, this is the way I'm supposed to go. I can probably cut... Okay, let, let's just see how long I've been recording here. Eight minutes, okay. <clears throat> I reco... I highly, highly recommend... Ow! <clears throat> Jelly Blob. Not as good as a Monster Claw, because I need a Monster Claw. <coughs> Excuse me. And... No, I thought there was something in there. So, pull this. I highly recommend doing this. Makes your life a bit easier. Um, okay, just pull it all the way over there. To the track. Don't do that. Or do that, actually. And here is a puzzle that really confused me. What you want to do is roll it so it hits that rock right there. And you can also roll these. Which I probably will do to save bombs. Though I can restore them. Then roll. It should go over there. And by extension, yeah. <coughs> God, that's going to get really annoying really fast. I apologize. <laughs> so I need to go take a sip of water. 
and just hit the time shift down. And I love the theme of this area when you're <clears throat> as the time sh time shift stone is active. More annoyances and wow, that was surprisingly easier than every other time I've tried to beat those enemies. And okay, here is an introduction of a bug. Where is it? Here we go. Of uh, more Kajo Babas. Okay, I should probably show this off. If you lock onto a Quadro Baba, they will eat a bomb, and then it will usually automatically give you a jelly bomb. So I'm just gonna get this. I wonder what it actually is. Wow. Game, you're trolling me. Stop your trolling. Okay, and. If you actually just jump down here, you'll be fine. And now that you've done that, you can just hop on in here. It's Link doing a um, little dance. And I forgot I have to blow up this rock. Game, stop this. Okay, thank you. This is going to get very annoying very fast. I apologize. So, uh, while this is about to explode, I should probably just keep doing this. Can I get, can I gonna get repetitive? I know. Three, four. I'm gonna cut ahead anyway, so. Okay, now I am all stocked up on bombs. So let us just get on in here. <clears throat> and now we can basically continue on. Which I think this is actually the second area already. I hope so. Is this what I think it is? Yes, this is. Crap. I do not remember this much. So I will probably save this for the next episode, but I'm not going to do my outro yet. And this is uh, the actual Lanayru Desert. So... And there's sink sand, which is going to be very, very annoying. Check the terrain on your map. Which will help eventually. So, and Zelda did pass through here, as Fi is saying here. And this is the biggest area we have encountered so far. A large... Kinda this, one, this way. So, I'm going to end things off here. So, on the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, you'll enter the Lanayru Desert in hopes of finding Zelda. So, I will see you guys next time.